But the good news is we don't need to wait to hear from the woman many people call the world's greatest political columnist, Kim Strassel from The Wall Street Journal. Also here, the greatest, I would say the greatest former Democratic mayor of Miami Beach, Philip Levine. Thanks to both of you for joining us. Uh, Kim, uh, the, uh, I went through that constitutional uh, uh, issue there because, as we know, uh, the president uh, could have declassified documents. I, I should say Trump, while in office, could have declassified documents. It doesn't necessarily need to be a big published uh, order. It can, be, it can be oral. It can be uh, uh, in, in various forms. And so I, that's why I set the table as we think about what are we looking at here are there potential uh, violations, and, and what is the, how should we treat the Justice Department's uh, case so far as we've been able to gather from it? Yeah, he does have very broad authority, and we're talking about documents. One of the reasons that the Department of Justice uh, is always careful and has guidelines about when it engages in political probes is because it has always understood that the gravity of the supposed crime has to be big enough to justify or outweigh the potential that if you take such an act, you are going to be seen as engaging in partisan law enforcement politics. And so, you know, for me, James, that's something like, oh, I don't know, espionage or uh, serious fraud or maybe murder. But we're talking about documents here and potentially, as you know, maybe even documents that the, the president declassified himself and uh, or, or maybe documents that aren't even really that important. Uh, I still don't understand why Merrick Garland and the Department of Justice chose to plant their flag on this ground. Yeah, uh, Philip, we don't know a lot, but what is your reaction to what we've seen so far? Uh, you know, there is a, obviously a, a, some type of report regarding potentially uh, nuclear classified information. We don't know if that's true or false. Uh, but I think for me, I'm looking at what's the bigger picture here? How, what, how does it affect politically? I was the former mayor of Miami Beach, the state of Florida, which is very important going forward. Mm -hmm. I can tell you there's one person that's probably very happy about this, and that would be Governor DeSantis, because even though, of course, he's showing that, you know, this is terrible and this is outrageous on the former president, what I think this does is it reminds the country possibly the, the riskiness of Donald Trump as a Republican candidate in the future and maybe why he was not reelected for a second term. And I, so I think that well, it helps. Wait a minute. Before, before we go there, I mean, you'd, you'd assume, just like everybody else, he has the presumption of innocence. Uh, given all the recent history, uh, and we can talk about the, the collusion effort, including uh, falsified information by the FBI to go after Trump associates, uh, uh, do, you, do you think the Justice Department, the FBI, deserves the benefit of the doubt that there really was something uh, uh, that justified this? I, I think when you look at uh, the severity of what they're potentially saying could be there, and of course I have a lot of faith and confidence in the FBI and the U.S. Justice Department as well as the Attorney General. Uh, I think that no matter what they find, the fact that these boxes and boxes of potentially classified information was stored down there, and I don't think that, you know, President Trump was down there looking at the boxes and going through all the information himself. I don't believe that. But I do believe what it does is it reminds the country, again, of the riskiness, possibly, of this person being the Republican nominee for president. And I think it fires up both bases. Okay. Well, I, uh, uh, Kim, I would say some people get reminded of uh, what seems to be a double standard. Uh, we can talk about uh, Sandy Berger, the Clinton official, uh, took uh, classified documents, uh, destroyed some of them, lied about it, misdemeanor. Uh, obviously, everyone knows the Hillary Clinton story. What, uh, what do you make of it so far as we look at the context here and the FBI's history with Trump? Yeah, I mean, I think that there's a couple of issues. One, it's the, the double standard that you mentioned. Uh, certain politicians seem to get a pass when they are accused of this. Um, but there's also the proportionality uh, aspect of it, which you just touched on. Um, again, I just don't really understand, and, and we still don't know everything, but I don't understand why the Department of Justice has, has gone after this, especially in light of the fact that there are so many other things that they appear to be investigating Donald Trump for. Okay, and uh, we'll talk uh, more about that uh, in a moment. Uh, but first, uh, we 